these babies just grow and grow. And as they grow, see this stalk down here? It just gets higher and higher and you just keep picking and picking what you need. Um, I haven't had to spray it with any kind of um, pesticides or anything. And I use this right here, this um, organic fertilizer. Uh, and it's been working great. I think I've only fertilized them once. What I just picked is probably enough, but I've got to get some off of this one too, just because they'll get too tough. I might have enough to share with my boys, let them take home. So look at all this. I mean, that is a lot of greens. A lot, a lot, a lot. I'm gonna take these in the house, give them a quick rinse, and then I'll show you what I do with them later. Okay, let's add our shallot, our ginger, and our garlic into our food processor. Then we are gonna add our lime juice, our white balsamic vinegar, and our fish sauce. If you do not have fish sauce, use soy sauce. Uh, add a little more lime. And we're gonna add our salt and our crushed red pepper, and we are gonna pulse this. Okay, I scraped it down, blended it again. I even scraped the lid. Next, we're putting in our peanuts. The recipe called for regular peanuts. I have honey roasted, so I'm putting those in there. Why not? Um, it also called for a tablespoon of sugar, and I'm gonna hold off on the sugar since these are honey roasted. Now we're gonna let this go. I'm gonna do a quick scrape down of the sides and blend it one more time. I'm going to do one more scrape down and then we are gonna add our olive oil and we are going to add it slowly through the top and um, for an emulsification. Oh, doesn't that look good? Emulsify, nice and creamy. We're just gonna break down the sides here. We want every last morsel. I'm gonna try to see if it's sweet enough since I didn't add the sugar. It's sweet enough for me. I might add more later after the flavors all blend together. I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge um, for a couple hours. You don't have to. If you wanna use it right away, go ahead. The flavors will meld together more if you let it sit for a while. In the fridge it goes. Beautiful. Okay, it is time to rinse our collard greens. And we're gonna rinse these a couple times just to get any dirt or little friends that may be on them. I also have in the bottom of this pan, right down there, a steamer um, trap. Okay, now for the steaming process. We want these all to be cooked uniformly. I don't want them steamed till they're mush. I just want them to start to turn color, that's it. So I put them in for two minutes and then I gave them a stir, put them in another two minutes, gave it another stir and one last time of two minutes and gave it a stir and they turned to this beautiful green. They still had texture and a little crunch. They were not mushy at all. Here's where things go when I cannot just follow a recipe. Now, recipe said to rinse the, the red onion um, three times because, you know, it's just, it can be harsh. And so that just takes some of that pungentness away. And where I add to it is um, Hispanic and Central American cultures, they pickle. Oh gosh, I got the driest lime possible. Have to get a new lime. Okay, I'm back. They pickle their red onions. Now, I've, this is one of my uh, key limes and they cute off of my tree. Oh, look at all that juice. Lately, I've been having a hard time finding limes with juice in them. But my key lime doesn't produce that much. It's a little patio key lime. But you know what I have. I have some uh, sweetened lime juice from Concentrate for cocktails. I'm just going to put that in there. That is going to be tasty. I was going to add a little sugar anyway. So now, obviously, I don't have to add sugar. But we're going to let these sit. I'm going to squeeze a little bit more on there. 
on to our salmon patties. I'm just adding some onion. We're making this easy. Egg, I had a little chopped up jarred red pepper. That's kind of nice to put in there because it's already been cooked. I've got some parsley I'm going to put in, and we're going to get this all mixed together along with about a handful of panko crumbs. I put dill in, salt, and pepper, and we're just going to mix this all together, and we're going to let it sit for a while for the flavors to blend together. Okay, it is time to assemble this beauty. Now, um, when I was looking at that recipe, they used raw. I'm using partially steamed. This process could have been done a day or two ahead of time. I got a lot of the water out of this. I still see it's wet. So I think what I'm gonna do, I mean, you know, I set it on a paper towel, or I set it on a towel and then put a paper towel over it, but I think I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna get a little more paper towel and just soak up a little more of this moisture. And you just kind of squeeze it out of it, just a little more because you do not want your salad dressing um, to slide off these beautiful greens. See, it's set up. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Now, if you're using raw collards, you're going to want to massage this dressing in, like in a motion like this, kind of pinching, because that will break down the fibers in your, um, your greens and that will uh, get them a little softer. So we want to get this all mixed in. Remember, our, some of our vegetables have um, their own little dressing on them. This is so pretty. That's what's nice about steaming it just that little bit. Um, you know, made it a gorgeous color. Okay, so we have these gorgeous pickled onions that I rinsed three times first. Mmm. Oh my gosh, those are so good. I'm gonna save the juice that they're in just in case I want to pour it in here. Okay, I'm gonna save those because I might want to put another layer of that. Okay, and then here's our cucumber that have the salt and sugar. And see how now they're floppy? And I'm just gonna kind of go like that just so it doesn't look flat and gets it worked in a bit. Oh, and here comes our color. Beautiful. A whole pint of tomatoes. I did not do anything with the tomatoes. And now comes our egg. Oh my gosh, guys. I think I just found my go-to for all the collard greens I have in my garden. We have our avocado. Oh my gosh, I did not need to make those salmon patties. This is plenty for dinner. Oh well, we'll have salmon patties too. And then our peanuts. Ah! Now, what kind of herb would be good on this that I don't have right now? Cilantro. Why cilantro? Because this is an Asian inspired dish and it has lime in it. Anytime I put lime in something, cilantro usually will go good with it too. So, and that's why I knew I could kind of flip flop with the onion, even though the onion is Central American with the lime juice on it, my dressing had lime juice on it, which is kind of Thai. And so I knew they'd be okay. I wasn't contradicting flavors. Lime, lime in the dressing, I'm okay there, even though I combined two countries. Let's fry up our salmon patties now. This looks superb. Super easy, make your patty, put it in some breadcrumbs and fry them up. You're just cooking the egg, so it's very easy to just put them in there, put some oil, some butter, whatever you have, and these are gonna be delicious. Um, they're good served with a mixture of mayo and sriracha, and that would go well with this Asian theme. Oh, let's plate this beauty up. It looks fantastic. Let me tell you, it was amazing. Um, just a reminder, the collard greens are gonna be tougher just like your kale. So you have to chew more. Absolutely spectacular, great flavor. The dressing was awesome. 
give it a try. It's a great way to use up your collard greens and not always have to have just southern style collard greens. Look at that beautiful salad. Absolutely incredible. The salmon was good too. 